Hey guys, I got a chance to read Non-Humans number one, which is uh, a big deal in comics right now because it's um, Wells Portatio's uh, return to uh, creator-owned work. He hasn't done it in a long time. And this story is written by Glenn Brunswick. Uh, the, the concept is very interesting. When I was reading it in previews a few months ago, I of course jumped right on it. I'm a huge indie title kind of guy. Uh, anything new and, and, and fresh, I'll, I'll add it. And this one was definitely new. It's basically a world where um, all, all things are living, basically. Uh, there's like teddy bears and mannequins and everything lives. And now it's kind of separated uh, humanity uh, against the non-humans. So it's very interesting that way. But uh, I'm not a huge fan of Wells Portatio's artwork. And I apologize. But I just don't like how it is. Uh, it kind of reminds me too much of 90s indie books. And for me, that was not a good time uh, reading those, those old stuff, that old stuff. So uh, for this, I'm going to give number one of non-humans two and a half nerd skulls.